Okay, welcome everyone. Good evening. Welcome to this very special hangover edition of the um, Dr. Norbert and Huggy Bear Marvel Crisis Protocol streaming. Um, stream. <laughs> Here we are. I'm a, I might be a little tired. I might be a little hungover. I, I'm going to say my beverage update straight away. It's, it's just tea tonight. Uh, and I got my my comfy clothes on. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little smoking jacket on tonight to uh, promote the you know recovery from the weekend. How about you, Huggy? I am great tonight, Norbert, and I think that we will be in for some serious violence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, let me turn on the telecasting. Let's see. So we can see already they, they are eager. They wanted to play. They were ready to play. Oops, turn on. Turn on, Norbert. Let's go. There it is. And, and they've already started deploying. Let's take a quick look already to see what they have uh, going on. So Crypt, Crichton, Crichton is Liam. Uh, he's all the way from Scotland playing. Uh, and he's undefeated, I should mention. And he has brought uh, Toad, Magneto, uh, Hulk and Juggernaut. Woo! Going very narrow indeed. Yep. He is, uh, that's, uh, his favorite core is um, Magneto, Hulk, and Juggernaut. Um, so, and that evens out at 17 points. So, and that would mean that we're seeing a 19 points showdown here. 19 points. So, on the other side, we have Thanos sitting on. Uh, oh. Uh, let's see, Reality Gem. Oh, yeah, this is Blake. He loves that Reality Gem. And I think the other one was the Mind Gem. Uh, Shuri, Killmonger, and Black Panther. So pretty much the same list we saw him play against Pat Dunford with the addition of uh, Shuri. So 19 points, as you mentioned. Yep. Still a very killy list on both ends. Uh, yeah. Killy list. And so let's take a look at the scenarios. They are playing scrolls uh, and demons downtown. <laughs> very, very um, concentrated and also very slow scoring. So you're absolutely right. It seems like you're going to be attrition going on here today. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, it's interesting because both teams um, play somewhat similarly to uh, how Black Order plays. Is that right? Tell me how. Um, it, sort of going very narrow and trying to isolate targets early to get up on attrition. With uh, um, uh, the list of uh, Kryton is very special because, as we can see, he is running. Um, as a matter of fact, he hasn't brought Camelange. Uh, that's interesting. I would. Ex I was expecting him to. Uh, that's what he did when he beat me uh, the other week. <laughs> so your first time experience uh, but, playing against uh, Liam. But he still has Asteroid M, and, Ast and uh, both Toad and Juggernaut are very good at getting into the right spot to deliver Magneto, to uh, do a number onto um, uh, a character of his choice. And then on the other end, we have Hebro, who has Thanos, who is always a uh, very powerful uh, control character that can serve uh, enemy models up to, um, for instance, Killmonger or even Black Panther uh, with the mantle of the Black Panther and the Pounce that can do a serious amount of damage to whatever target. All right. Let's take a quick look here on how they've lined up. So um, Leon Crichton... He's put Magneto straight in the middle with a uh, construct in front of that. Juggernaut just to his left, Hulk just to his right, and Little Toad has been already moved forward to go um, check out the scroll, and amazingly has found it. This is bad news for Big Blake. Indeed. And on the other side of the table from Thanos, even. <laughs> yeah, double whammy. Um, yeah, we're trying to figure out which gem is on Thanos. We know it's a reality gem. 
Let's see if it got cleared up here, but I don't expect it to be the same as last week because it's not allowed to change. But I think we, uh, the no, overlay right. is yeah. having a problem of showing them both. Yeah, he doesn't have them in the tray correctly. So, yeah. But it was mined in reality, wasn't it? No, no, it was um, uh, space. Space. The, where he teleports himself. Okay, that's what it is. Space and But, uh, but I was... Uh, I was um, uh, in the belief that it was mined uh, for half of the last week's game. Oh, so. that's why I'm confused. <laughs> okay, so Blake has replied by putting Shuri on the back point, um, which is always a good spot for her to be able to do her long attacks uh, and still score a point. Uh, and Liam has retaliated with Juggernaut moving forward once, and I'm, I'm going to assume he's going to slide now. Let's see. Once he gets himself settled, he's going to slide and probably demolish this subway entrance. Magneto sitting on a size four building. Yikes. There's a size three dumpling restaurant, size three in the back. Nice for Brotherhood, this map. Oh, for sure. Uh, a lot of big things to throw around. Uh, and uh, Gibro doesn't have a single... Uh, model that throws in his entire team, except for Black Panther, who throws himself. Mm. Now this is weird. He's he's moved double moved Juggernaut just uh, next to that construct and left him there. Mm -hmm. What what do you think? Um, I would expect he has uh, he wants to avoid putting him too close to um, Thanos, possibly or Killmonger, and then he has probably lined up for. A uh, asteroid M. If um, Ebro should decide to to put uh, a model on the middle uh, portal, right, right, and uh, with with the scroll agent in his possession, uh, Krypton doesn't really need to be chasing points and having uh, incinerates on uh, uh, any of his characters really, but maybe uh, Juggernaut in particular. Uh, seriously brings his uh, tankiness down a notch. Uh, okay, cool. I um, am interested to hear what he's doing with Black Panther. Black Panther has moved once so far. He was measuring out a second time. And i um, not sure if uh, he's going to pounce now, or I don't know, he has time to, or power to. Um, could you check your DM, Norbert? Yes, I'm fixing it now. <laughs> cool. Uh, let's see. I think this is correct. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I forgot that one step. Fantastic. Yeah, better now. Okay, cool. perfect. All right, now I just need to put the right person up there. Okay, now we're in business. Thanks for that. Okay. So the scroll being found early by the one model who is best at holding it <laughs> yeah, and uh, no. running off. <laughs> bad times. It really is bad. So let's see, where did Blake end up putting Black Panther? Okay, so he's put Black Panther kind of a, on a far angle. Uh, and not threatening Toad. I am not sure what's going on. Hulk is, in the meantime, now looking like he's going to be moving forward. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit uh, interested in why uh, Hebro decided to put Thanos that far out on a flank, uh, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Because if he wasn't planning on... Uh, I mean, even if you're not planning on uh, finding, uh, looking for the scroll yourself, um, you need to be aware that your opponent might and then have an answer for the eventual for the event that uh, he does find it so for instance placing thanos more centrally uh, would have allowed him to go move up and uh, bring toad closer to the to his team uh, without the mind gem though uh, i don't know how much difference it would have make, made um so um We'll see how he approaches, but he cannot afford to let Toad run off with that scroll. And uh, currently, that is 
the most important thing uh, happening in the game. So um, Hulk decided to move across to uh, throw a size two piece of terrain and then moved back onto the back points. Uh, the power went to Juggernaut and to Toad from that throw based on the Brotherhood affiliation ability. Meanwhile, then we have Killmonger moving forward and looking like he's going to order some dumplings. Let's see if he goes inside. I think the restaurants are either closed or they often have specials on Mondays. I can imagine this place has a dumpling special, Monday dumplings. Most likely. <laughs> you think? <laughs> All right. Crichton is now measuring range three. Who's left? It's just the it's just Magneto left to go. It's interesting how narrow yeah. narrow these two lists are. Amazing. Yep. Yeah. On Mondays, uh, Gil Gil's asking, "What kind of dumplings do they serve on Mondays at that dumpling house?" I'm going to have to say. Uh, Quite a, a, a probably a mixed hash of whatever they didn't sell over the weekend. That's why you don't buy fish on Monday, people. If you don't know that tip yet, do not buy fish on Monday. I thought Tuesday was fish day. <laughs> no, no, unless you're Norwegian, right? Because aren't they the ones who like to bury the fish into the like earth for a few months and then eat it? Um. Or is it Norwegians? Uh, are you talking about the uh, sour herring? No, <laughs> no, no. This, this no. is like literally they bury the fish in a in an earthenware jar in in under the ground. You know, like I don't know how deep, three feet, not very far. Yeah. Uh, and they basically let it rot for six months, and <laughs> it's the the best thing you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it's Icelandic. Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Ooh. Not so good for you, huh? So close for Magneto <laughs> to end up within three of someone. Yep. So what did he do? He um, used Asteroid M to pour himself up. Very, very aggressive use of Asteroid M. But I suppose now that he knows where the scroll is, he doesn't care about burning that card now. No, but uh, he certainly would have wanted to get two attacks out of it. And he would have if he had placed Juggernaut ever so slightly more forward. Yeah, that's a, that's a pity. Uh, so he decided to beat up Shuri instead. Uh, rolled two hits, including a wild. She saved both, though. So she's, yeah. not, she's not scared of big bad Magneto. So uh, sad times for Magneto, but uh, he still... Gets uh, the push, right? ...holding the scroll on his side, so... Doesn't matter. Maybe he, not. He matter. just pushes her off the point so she won't be scoring anything on that secure. Yep. Okay, we should mention that Kryton is undefeated in this league, so he is going forward into the cuts. Uh, but yep. Big Blake is uh, fighting to stay in him. He's 4-1. Uh, so he needs to win he, this. Or Yeah, 4-1 right now. So he needs to win this he one. He has a gun to his head. <laughs> Knife to his throat. We're, 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 let's get, to, yeah. <laughs> we have to get all those analogies, the cultural analogies. I like it. I, I like uh, having a knife to one's throat. Yeah. It's, How about why not both? More, it's more serious. <laughs> yeah. A gun to your head is more like, uh, it's uh, it's uh, more, more more has more anxiety to it. I see. Right. Yes. Right. I mean, people shave every day, and it seems fine. <laughs> well, not not everyone shapes every day. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, you do some some manscaping up there, don't you? Some hedge trimming. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you usually trim it like once every two weeks or so. Oh, that's all. Oh, good. No wax? No wax in there? Uh, no. Nah, it's not not enough. For that. <laughs> I'm I'm not that that serious about it. <laughs> all right. So we've had Thanos move forward. And now he's tractor beamed Magneto into his range, and maybe he'll use his other action slap to him a bit. slap him around a bit. 
<laughs> He's got the reality gem. I'm going to try to remember that. I, I kept forgetting last time. Oh, look at that. He got it. Three hits and a crit from the from the skull. Which rolls into nothing, so he's done four hits. Uh, Magneto saved two, so he's going to take two. Yeah. And what now? Is he going to move him out of the way? Maybe he was checking to see if he could move uh, Juggernaut, maybe? Mm, yeah. Further away from... Yeah, get him out of the action. So Magneto is going to be lined up to do some serious damage to Thanos now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what he can get out of his rolls. Because um, Thanos, uh, on his injured side, he loses Portal. So that takes away a lot of his control abilities. Mm -hmm. so that would certainly impact the game a lot. Uh, then again, if Magneto doesn't do anything about... Uh, Killmonger, um, he will be uh, quite interested in using his sword onto the old man. Yeah, we need to uh, get a line judge in there because um, uh, I think because he didn't place those cards right, the, this, the automatic uh, cleanup thing is not giving him enough power. He's running low on power. Ah, Interesting. I don't know if we got any. Yeah, I'm just checking. Anyone that's yet? Jonah, maybe, or Quinn, or. Quinn. Call me Quinn. Anybody? Who's got access? Uh, meanwhile, um, who's attacking now? This is Magneto going into Thanos? I would assume so. Because uh, I think uh, Crichton got priority, right? And that means it looks like no damage. No damage. Well, that's Thanos for you. What are you going to do? I mean, yeah. you, you, uh, Magneto needs to be rolling hot. Let me see if I can go in to the accuser's lounge and see if they can bring somebody in here because that'll be bad for the game. While you were uh, while you're doing that, we can note that Brace was used by Hebro. Oh, cool. Stopping the dumplings from <laughs> hitting him. Brace for dumplings. <laughs> Keep vamping. I got to talk about it. Here. Okay. Finally got him in. Fantastic. Looks like they uh, fixed the gem. Uh, oh, did they fix now. it? Oh. Yep. Oh, now, fantastic. Now, now uh, there are, there's more power on oh, amazing. Thanos. And, yeah. yeah. Hooray. Thank you, whoever helped. Silent helper, thank you for helping. Uh, so Magneto, what, hit him twice, and now what? He's trying to see if he could attack uh, uh, he, he made only one attack into Thanos okay. uh, and did no damage. So possibly uh, he is now thinking uh, uh, to abort plan and uh, shoot Killmonger to push him uh, away short. I am not so sure that would help a lot, though, because... Killmonger has charge and well enough power to use it. So a short move away from there, I believe he would get back to within two of Magneto with a medium range charge. So plus Indomitable is there. So but here we go. That's what we're seeing. Well, that's not a good roll again. Man, if he didn't have that scroll, he'd be in worse shape um, right now because he has done nothing. <laughs> well, he gets the push. No, off. exactly. He gets the and, push. Uh, off. That's all. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Magneto he... is uh, standing there with his pants down. <laughs> Middle of uh, everyone. Uh, right next to Thanos. <laughs> Let's see if uh, Killmonger can do usurp the throne on him. Does he, enough, he doesn't yeah. have power, though. He needs to charge. Not, yeah, he doesn't have enough power yet. Um, but he could save it for the injured side. Magnetic refraction seems to have gone up. Yeah, I was just going to say, I saw a, a token go down. So magnetic refraction means they all have cover or just the people who pay for it? 
cover, uh, everyone has cover within three of Magneto. Oh, okay. And that works even when the opponent is striking within range two of uh, him. So he will always have cover unless the, the attack or uh, the attacking character has some rule that states specifically yeah. that they ignore cover or uh, that uh, the defender cannot um, uh, modify uh, defense die. All right. Looks like it's uh, Hebrew's turn next, Big Blake. Um, <clears throat> and he's looking to see what he could do with Hulk. I should remind everybody, uh, Crichton is Liam from um, Scotland, and Big Blake is Big Blake. Hebro is coming to us all the way from Texas. Uh, we saw him play last week uh, against a really amazing game uh, against Pat. It was so close uh, and a really unusual win condition. You can go to our... YouTube channel to uh, see the replay of it, or else Twitch here for a little while before it disappears. Um, so we're going to see what he can do here now that he it's his turn. They forgot to put uh, Incinerate on Hulk, but managed to do it now, so it's all good. No harm, no foul. Oh, man, this tea is delicious. No beverages for you tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> the trusty GT. <laughs> right, which, uh, fr which fruit are you working with now? Citrus grape this time. <laughs> and a slice of lime. <laughs> Citrus grape. Interesting. Does it taste like wine? Um, not really. No? It's, uh, uh, it's kind of smooth, actually. Uh, not too sour, even though it's uh, citrus in it. Uh, I suppose the grape um, balances it out with a bit more bitterness. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's what I like. Good. All right, Toad. Oops, looks like Toad's activating. Because uh, I saw... There we go. Um, I think we missed out on Black Panther. Panther. Here. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was. Sorry. I was so concerned about him working seen... with Hulk. He seems to have spent two power, which... Uh... Was the pounce then, yeah? Yeah, possibly the pounce. Um, yeah. And yeah, then, probably. <clears throat> and then the strike. Yeah. So that makes sense because uh, the pounce was a good idea because he can't slippery away from that. Um, exactly. Then he did a normal strike. But, yes. You could argue that um, he could have um, used mantle, uh, move it into base contact, use mantle, uh, and then be... Uh, since Toad's speed is reduced to short, he could move away, but Toad is also a wall crawler, so we would have uh, moved up onto that uh, battle van, hmm. and then he would have been immune to the upcoming pounce. Yep. So okay. Panther and I have to... Yeah, oh. so Pan Panther took the risk, um, knocked out Toad, which is not surprising, but did pick up the scroll. And the question is, can he resist the uh, tension he's going to get from Juggernaut now? Because Juggernaut's going to move, He's going to do his slide thing, and then if he attacks, then he gets the extra dice of damage because of the fact that he moved already. Indeed. Um, highly unlikely that Juggernaut will one-shot Panther with one attack. Mm. Um, however, he might throw him with his, um, do you know who I am? <laughs> uh, or possibly put the battle ban into him. Oh. We shall see. No, he can't uh, throw it on this side. Of his card. He can only throw on the backside, injured side. Yeah, yeah, but his card, uh, the 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 oh, yeah. card, you know who I am, allows him a. Um, you can throw the card instead a of a long person. throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it's Chewy. Hey, Chewy. Welcome to the stream. Hello. It's our number one fan. I'm going to see Chewy uh, at, at Adepticon uh, this Wednesday. That's why we're streaming on a Monday. We're doing hangover stream today. Uh, because I can't stream on Wednesday as I'll be in the air. Or probably already landed at this point. Maybe not. Who knows? Man, that sounds sweet. Man, it's going to be great. I've never been to Adepticon. Uh, I was supposed to go in 2020. <laughs> and then three weeks yeah. before, <laughs> that didn't work out. So it's been two years in the making, this trip. Two and a half, if you consider the time I took to get ready for it originally. <laughs> Saturday, Chewy. How lame is that? Why are, you, why are you only coming on Saturday? I think Omnis gets in at, on Tuesday. All right, here's the attack. So he did, um, 
he did the slide, which uh, eliminated the um, ban, which also gave everybody power because of the Brotherhood affiliation. And now Juggernaut is um, going to do that big attack into uh, Black Panther. He did four hits so far. Let's see what that crit rolls into. No, just four hits. Panther saves only one, though. No blanks. Um, uh, he has the... Uh, why was he only rolling three defense dice? So you got four against physical? Oh. Yeah. Because uh, the scroll does not... Reduce your defense dice. Lower your reduce your defense. That's the senator. Um. Hmm. I don't know, but he's taking two damage as a result. I guess he rolled that blank, um, and that counts now. I'm not sure. You sure he's supposed to have four on that side? Let's see. I think I think that's right. Here he is. Four, three, three. Nope, he has four. Physical. So maybe they're misinterpreting about the scroll. Maybe. Hey, rookie boy, welcome. And uh, yes, this is this is my evening gown, uh, uh, Jacob. This is uh, this is the hangover edition of the Huggy Bear and Dr. Norbert stream. And so uh, I thought I'd, I'd get comfortable and kind of get in the mood after a long weekend of, um, you know, debauchery. Yeah, yeah, you, this is what I look like when I'm hungover. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> it's, that's your loungewear. <laughs> Looks like uh, Chewie's professing his man crush on Juggernaut. And uh, yeah, it's a sweet model on top of it all. I have mine. I'm bringing it. I'll give it to give away some of my tech to everybody. I'm going to be bringing my Juggernaut to uh, Adepticon. Did you uh, build it with the lamppost or without it? I, I did the lamppost. I thought it gave it a lot of character. Yeah, I just built mine a couple of hours ago. Oh. Uh, but I, I decided to uh, not use the lamppost. Yeah, why is that? Uh, easier to transport. Mm -hmm. And also, I, um, I don't know, I, I somehow... Um, uh, I've always kind of like like to model to not make uh, model my models in in context. I would uh -huh. like to Im imagine what they're doing, so to speak, uh, uh -huh. ra yeah. rather than have them doing something specific um, with their posts and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Unless there's a, a unless there's a unless I get a fantastic idea. <laughs> yep. I can understand that. <clears throat> I do like the dynamic yeah. poses. It does look just as dynamic with the other one. In fact, it, it looks more like he's just trying to run through walls instead of trying to go out and attack without the one yeah, yeah. pose. Yeah, so it's nice. On the topic of conversions, I'm really, really interested in making a uh, evil Doctor Strange with tentacles <laughs> that I've seen that I've seen other some other people do. So I hear dice being rolled. Um, I thought he was measuring a, a charge from Killmonger, but uh, yeah, possibly. But I don't know um, what happened there. But it doesn't look like anything happened because uh, Crichton rolled a lot. Okay, what is that, Shuri? Given the uh, uh, yeah, could have been a push maybe. Shuri was doing something. Yeah. She rolled something and then moved we short. We didn't see any tab arrows. No, I didn't hear them going down. Hey, it's German Nick in the chat. Welcome. Nick, how's that German community coming along? When's the next uh, big convention, next big tournament in Germany? We need to get the uh, the heart of Europe playing MCP more seriously. Otherwise, the Belgians are going to come and steal your thunder like they did in War Machine. <laughs> they make big, good beer, too. They make great beer. Yeah. Great beer. And they they know how to host a big event. But I would... Uh, but uh, do they have the organizational skills of the Germans? <laughs> well, the, the, the Belgian crew down there, they, they were the ones who were running a lot of the WTCs. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We'll, we'll see. I know Wout was playing. If anybody knows Wout. Probably Germans in disguise. Yeah, look. I think it should be a collaboration. Ah, thank you. Jacob was saying how Shuri tried to shoot Mags, but he paid to block it, and so he doesn't get pushed. Yep. 
Coolio. Sure regenerating power uh, for future rerolls, though. So Nick's saying that the Germans need a localized language version, and then it will really take off. So I can understand that. That sounds like a community project waiting to happen. Get everybody to kind of collaborate and make a translation. Omnis is asking about the Polish community. I definitely know that there's some Polish people playing. Uh, early on, they were already involved. Um, I'm not sure if they've run anything big yet, but they're definitely doing stuff. Looks like Hulk is considering to go after Panther. Th Thanos? Uh, um, yeah, maybe. Panther is the one holding the scroll, although the fact that Kryton scored the scroll first turn uh, gives him a bit of leverage to, uh, he doesn't have as much pressure on him to get it back immediately, but um, it's also dangerous to give your opponent time to slip away. Yeah. Yeah, Nick's saying they actually started translating it into German, but it's a lot of work. I can totally imagine that it's a lot of work. Translation is not easy. I mean, if you just use Google Translate, you can see how uh, how it, it isn't so straightforward to translate two languages. Now, translation is, uh, as a matter of fact, translation is often uh, rewriting in practice, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, unless you want language that really makes no sense. Right. Um, I know because I work with uh, in book publishing and uh, translate, uh, translations are a big part of that, obviously. And uh, I mean, if you, you can't, you can't translate for word for word, basically a, a translator is, is always a writer of his own. And I, I, I just can't imagine how, uh, how much work it must be to translate a rules system that must be tight in itself uh, yeah. when it comes to wordings and also compatible with the uh, native language of the game, right. so to speak. Right. Yeah. Real quick, I, I totally agree. Real quick, um, Hulk did a Gamma Leap forward, then he did his normal move forward, and then he did a strike into Black Panther. He rolled rather well, six hits. Black Panther manages to roll into, oh, five, five saves. So only <laughs> takes one hit. Wow. Black Panther tanking. Black Panther says no. <laughs> hey, we've Looks got like a new first-time chatter from Florida. Well, you're in luck because Big Blake Hebro playing uh, is from Texas, so you got an American to root for, uh, and he's playing it against a Scotsman from uh, yeah. one of the one of the whiskey islands, as a matter of fact, I think. A Scotsman and a cowboy fighting each other. <laughs> This reminds me, it's almost like a Simpsons episode where you have the, uh, the, the, the caretaker, the Scottish caretaker, and one of the locals battling it out. Okay, so Killmonger, I'm pretty sure, probably charged, and now is attacking um, Magneto. Ooh. Yeah, that's such a great hit. Nah. Not such a great hit. Uh, no, oh, they rolled it into worse. So not such a great hit. Two hits, one save. So Mag should take one. No Pierce, so yeah. Yeah, he's he needed to warm up a little bit, I guess. Maybe he's hungover too. <clears throat> yeah, apparently <laughs> too many. He had too many dumplings there. <laughs> Told you, those are leftover dumplings from the weekend. He did not. Oh, ah, four shields. <laughs> Come on. Uh, remember, he does have a superpower yeah. that allows him to kill I was just going to mention of... that. Yeah. So you can count shields as hits, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh. Over, uh, well, well, then he counts shields instead of hits. Right. Uh, but this was a good hit in the end. Power... He did, he I can't did... remember what the, the power cost for it is. Though. Yeah, me neither. He did uh, five hits in the end, though, and Mag saved only yeah. one. So uh, that's Mag's on one hit point. Oof. Let's see what it's called. It is called Question now. Special Forces. Costs only one. Yeah. Only one. Shuri has the same power, by the way, with a different name. 
Which is great for when you don't want to do damage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, but like... still get the push off, right? Exactly. So when you're firing at someone like She-Hulk or Crossbones, who get to move back when they take damage, then... So is it Thanos' time now, maybe? Um, well, look, uh, does he have to push or something like that? Because um, Hebro is measuring something, too. Yeah, I, I think this is uh, Thanos. Ah, Thanos um, is going. Yeah. So he's moved him back onto the point, maybe to get incinerated. Possibly uh, planning to get him killed by teleporting himself up and punching him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but staying out of incinerate range. Want... Yeah. Yep, sure enough. Blake doing what he likes to do, which is just beat people up <laughs> uh, and now he's lined them up so that even if he doesn't do any damage with his attack but still rolls a wild uh, Magneto will go flying into that um, um, construct Construct and take one automatic damage unless he pays uh, two but I didn't see whether he did uh, but given the amount of dice he's rolling he uh, did pay and that means he cannot be thrown Mm -hmm. But, yeah. That's only one attack, Look, though. He, he seems to have blocked it. Yeah, he blocked the actual attack. Uh, he does have no power left, though, anymore. So Thanos just needs yep. to roll a wild. And that'll be that. Which he does. Boom. There it is. There it is. Boop. There it is. Boop. <laughs> but I do believe he roll he did have the power because uh, he rolled six dice uh, oh, for defense again. Okay, maybe so I missed him. Possibly he was just fast. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh. Okay, so he survives. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm actually not. I mean, that's a point for Crichton, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm not too sure that it's a good thing uh, because uh, now he will only have one damage left. Um, so. Uh, he will be very, very easily dazed by someone like Shuri mm -hmm. next round. Yep. Yeah, but he does uh, have priority, so he's going to let uh, Mags yeah. uh, blow up probably on Thanos. Yeah, he did have priority to, from the get-go, and uh, uh, the fact that he bro dazed Toad before he had a chance to activate uh, mm -hmm. further cemented uh, the fact that Triton has priority here. Yeah. So hopefully uh, Hebro puts uh, tick marks on Killmonger and Thanos once this is over with. Let's make sure the mod knows what's going on. And now there's a bit of chit chat. And more chit chat. Didn't you have a tournament this past weekend? Uh. No, I did not, actually. <laughs> ah. Unfortunately. Man. All right, there we go. There's the tick. And I assume Killmonger is getting a tick. Okay, and there goes the cleanup round. So that's four points to Kryton by virtue of getting that point from Magne Magneto. And Hebro gets a point from the back um, secure point and also from the scroll that Black Panther is holding on the, s on the bottom of the screen, which you can't see. Uh, yeah, the the thing now is that um, I would expect Crichton to be very eager to uh, take out Black Panther um, before he runs off with a scroll, um, which basically means that uh, he might not activate Magneto first. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Or he will activate Magneto first because he will he do, he wants to get um, a turn out of him before he before he goes down. Yeah, and you know Hulk has can, has surprising maneuverability. Oh yes, the gamma leap uh, with that base, uh, it 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 makes a, a a huge difference. All right. So we have he's the, the, indeed chosen Magneto to go first, and he's attacking Thanos just as we suspected. And uh, let's see what he rolls. Not so great. That's not what he wants to see. Two hits. Uh, but Thanos, well, he gets one uh, save because of the reality gem. 
and he gets his own invulnerability, yeah. and then he's probably got a recon reroll, so he might he might uh, take no damage from this whatsoever. Oh no, that was the crit rolling. Uh, yeah. yeah, they were, uh, and Crichton uh, got some more hits with those rerolls because they were he was within two. Oh right, of course, so... Magneto's rerolling everything. Oof, that was really good. Six hits altogether. Still, two saves. That is still three three damage blocked uh, mm. by Thanos, yep. given his. Uh, but three damage to into Thanos is nothing to be sneezed at. No, nope. no, it's a very good start. Uh, because he'll he'll not only hit him again, but he'll do uh, start throwing furniture yeah. at, at him. The the uh, nameless building. <laughs> yeah, just a building. It could be a huggy yeah. storage facility, but no. Yeah, I, I really like the idea of a Huggy's haberdashery, <laughs> but uh, I would imagine that it would be in in a uh, in a more classy type of building. <laughs> yeah. It's just your warehouse. That's all. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's not, it's, not, it's, not an, it's not going to be an outlet. It's going to be. <laughs> yeah, this is where the, the cast offs are sold out of. Um, he rolled well again. Five hits. Um, Thanos looks like he saved two. He sa No, he saved one, two, three, four. Oh Oof. my god. And then his innate ability means he saved five. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos is so obnoxious. It's uh, really an emotional roller coaster coaster when you roll those spikes and only to 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 yeah. to have a look at your opponent's dice and see, oh man, one damage in, even though I rolled five, six hits. Here it comes. Here comes the haberdashery. <laughs> yeah, the, the cast off uh, outlet uh, building is getting hurled. All your, all your clothes are going to be strewn around Thanos. Thanos manages to save two. He's rolling his crits. He's got to save against five. He does not save anymore. So that's three, including his ability. He's going to take two, bringing him up to five. Five out of eight. Mm. Plus. Um, well, he just spent power for some reason. Oh, to reroll. He's going to reroll. Wakanda reroll. Oh, and he gets it. Nice one. Yep. So, so one, two, three, four. No, three. And the superpower. So four. one so damage. One damage, yeah. So he's on half. He's half half dead. Half days. Half days. He's just feeling it now. He's just feeling a little funky. But Thanos isn't finished yet. Looks like he's going to throw this subway. What is it? Yeah, subway entrance. I wonder which which line it is in the subway system. What do you <laughs> What do you call yours? You're in Sweden. It's the metro, right? Yeah, but there's really only uh, a metro in Stockholm. Right, and you're in Lund. I mean, there there, there, there is know. a wannabe there is a wannabe metro in in Malmo, but that is really just a underground a part of the regular railroad being. Oh. Uh, in a tunnel underground. <laughs> uh, looks like Thanos uh, was thinking about something else. Oh, sorry, not Thanos. Magneto was thinking about something else. Don't know. I mean, he's done his two actions, so and he's thrown one, so it's a matter of throwing two. something. Yeah, he else. can throw a size two. I think he's med packing um, no himself. No more or less. Yeah. 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 Um, possibly. Yeah. Or played magnetic refraction. Yeah, he played magnetic refraction. That's what's going on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I believe that one still works when he's dazed. Okay. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, so he's leaving Thanos. Uh, sorry, Magneto up there uh, on his one hit point, but um, and he doesn't have the ability to stop a push or a throw. Uh, he because he only has one power right now. Yep. Oh, see. oh, Panther can only go short now because he's holding the scroll. Correct. Right. So it looks like he's trying to get out of dodge. He's going to do probably two moves and a pounce. Yeah, or two moves and a med pack. Hmm. Uh, All right. We'll have to see what what Big Blake is thinking. As a matter of fact, I had barbecue on Sunday. That was our Sunday treat. We ordered in uh, some brisket, uh, ribs, and uh, chicken kind of medley. Nice. Yeah, barbecue is nice, proper barbecue. Um, when I went to War Machine Weekend, it's in St. Louis, where they have their own style of barbecue, and man, was it delicious. Oh, I was so happy there. 
So what's the uh, what's the uh, characteristic of uh, St. Louis barbecue? Um, the, um, on the sauces are more on the tomato sweet side than on the vinegar and like chili side, like you get in the Carolinas. If I'm remembering right, which is the way I like it. I have to say I don't particularly like the Carolina style barbecue. I'm sorry, it's okay. It's definitely better than no barbecue. So interestingly, Panther chose to pounce and put more distance between himself and Juggernaut rather than using Medpack. Um, we'll see whether that was the right call because uh, yeah. Juggernaut is certainly fast enough to um, catch him. Yeah, catch him anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I agree. I think Medpack would have been a better call. Three damage points uh, would have made him safer because. Uh, um, well, look at this now. Instead of sliding, does he slide short or two? No, he slides short. Oh, okay. Uh, and now he's sliding into Panther, doing one automatic damage to him. Yeah. Great. Before making an attack. Yep. There uh, it is. He could also use uh, the Do You Know My Name card here to throw Panther long and serve him up to Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Let's see, Juggernaut's got four power. Buddy. Looks like he's making an attack. Yeah, he's gonna make an attack. And this is with extra dice because he did he did a move ahead of this. Correct. Ooh, didn't roll very well though. He's uh, rolled a crit to see if that gets him anywhere, but he's on three hits so far. Triton has not been having good dice. Great dice. No. Yeah. Or when he does, but Blake does too. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah. Will we see the throw here or I don't know. He he didn't do any damage on that hit. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna. Let's see which direction though. Throwing him into Hulk makes a lot of sense. Oh, Chewie's pointing out that um, Hebro does have uh, Indomitable. So he may not be going anywhere. Through that. Through that, yeah. And that now would be a uh, an excellent time to play it. <laughs> yeah. Because he survived the punch. Yep. I believe Hulk will probably be able to get to him with a... Uh, I mean, he, uh, Juggernaut could also use the Do You Know Who I Am card to throw the car into Panther, mm -hmm. hoping to get at least one damage into him. Nope. So he used the card to throw him, Do You Know Who I Am, and indeed, uh, Hebro used Indomitable to stop it. All right. So that's the end of Juggernaut's activation. Back over to Hebro. Back into the middle. Being distracted on that flank. Yep. Hebro could, for instance, move uh, Shuri up towards. Pa he could, like, put one shot into Magneto, do one damage to him, and then uh, move towards Panther to medpack him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Good idea. But it looks like he's, yeah, so she's sure he's starting to start it by shooting Magneto. Yeah, not a fantastic roll, but Magneto succumbs. It's, it's enough, yeah. <laughs> Just enough, efficiency. She also rolled a skull to generate her an extra power, so she is at four there, um, which means that she can position herself in such a way that she, oh. Is she going to med pack? Um... Thanos. Uh, yeah, she yeah. elects to medpack Thanos. We prefer Thanos. Interesting. Huh. Blake does like using Thanos quite heavily, so. That is certainly a more the the, the attrition huh. oriented choice. Um, because the thing is, is Panther's not going to get away from Juggernaut, being that he can only move short. No, but uh, with Medpack, he could possibly have, well, 
He could probably have survived Hulk. <laughs> All right, so he's decided to move Shuri to a slightly different position, but still holding that back point. And um, she's done. Back over to... In this particular matchup, we really, really see the effect of the ever so slight nerfs to uh, Black Panther and Shuri are limiting their pushes to size 3. Mm. Good point. Good, Very good point. Okay, so Crichton has either Hulk or Toad to go. And um, he... I suppose the med pack on Thanos uh, makes it more likely that he will survive um, Magneto's activation mm -hmm. next round. Yeah. Uh, giving him the, uh, the possibility to um, strike back. Look at this. And... Uh, Hulk is not going after the scroll. Looks like. Hmm. Maybe he's thinking, ah, Toad, will, Toad, Toad can do that. Toad, Toad will take him down. <laughs> They're not discussing whether maybe Hulk can fit on that subway platform. I would expect no, but... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, looks a little, the judge. a little small for a big fellow like him. Maybe he's going to throw it. Yeah, looks like he's throwing it. Yeah. And what does he throw? Medium? Medium, yeah. Seems like oh. he only threw it. He just threw it away so that uh, yeah. they could get extra power. So now he's stacked with power. Six out of ten. Uh, looking to go after Thanos. Yep. It's interesting we have an American playing in the European meta. I wonder if he has different philosophy of the game and that's why he's been doing so well. He's confusing all the Europeans. All right, so we've had um, Hulk Gamma Leap board. He's going to now strike into Thanos. Um, they're measuring something about the uh, construct. Not sure why. Anyway, it sounds like the roll is going to yeah. happen now. Here we go. Punching Thanos' face. <laughs> Ooh, Thanos didn't roll terribly well, but he did get a crit. Don't forget because he has the rally. Roll on Hulk. Oof, yeah, look at that. Five hits from Hulk. Like above average, at least. Yeah. Five hits, uh, one save, and yeah. one natural save. So that's three hits that uh, Thanos has to absorb. Oh, he's going to do Wakanda reroll first. Uh, which helps him. Nice. Yeah. So it effectively so... saves three out of the six, uh, five. Uh, it appears that he spend, uh, spent additional power from Shuri uh, right. to reroll, but that didn't get him any more blocks. Right. And he staggered. Oh, it was a Hulk smash, so he was stag he's staggered now. <laughs> That's not good for Thanos. And, and getting thrown. Yikes, all the things are happening to Thanos. Man, I would love to see this in a real film. Can you imagine Hulk and Thanos going at it? Bam, bam, bam. Well, that actually happened in Endgame. Uh, Infinity War, I mean. Did it? I don't remember. That didn't turn out too well for Hulk. <laughs> yeah, Thanos is pretty tough. Oh, well, or you could argue that uh, Heimdall teleported him away before he had a chance to retaliate. <laughs> um, it looks like uh, that is a dodge uh, roll for Killmonger. Uh, he's safe, too. Not bad. Uh, Thanos is size three, right? Yep. So he takes two. Only making him angrier. <laughs> Killmonger, that is. Yeah. 
Um, so yeah, as a matter of fact, is kind of out of a job for this time, unless he wants to start taking a bite out of Hulk. Well, I was going to say that, right? Because Hulk and Magneto are both six points, right? So a Serpent Throne can go for either one of those. Okay, and... Um, and Wakanda Forever is still on the table as well. Yes, good point. And Killmonger is within range three. Does he have a spender that he wants to use? He does. I think it's three Black cost, ops. yeah. Black yeah. Ops Strike, and that teleports him as well, and potentially mm -hmm. staggers. That is not bad to put into Hulk. So, um, Usurp the Throne is three cost, right? So he could potentially play Usurp the Throne here and get uh, six additional dice with Wakanda Forever. That's not too bad. Not too bad. But it is. it would mean committing a lot of the resources he has left mm. into something that is entirely reliant on dice. Yeah. Um, Hulk is uh, incinerated. He is. Also. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, certainly a factor. Um, the other option would be to s keep his resources for next round to take down Magneto, but then again, Magneto will get to activate first and could possibly um, daze Killmonger before I had a chance to act. Yeah, for sure. Looks like he has, uh, Hebro has selected to take his chances yeah. with Hulk. Yep, he's, he's paid for the um, Spender, which is range three, but they haven't rolled but the dice yet. Not usurp the throne, it seems. No, no. He could do it on the next one, the next attack. Yeah, but I mean, he gets two extra dice from it, so why uh, not use mm, that uh, straight away as much yeah. as you can? Um, so, uh, I would assume we won't be seeing it played at all since we didn't see the. Ooh, no blocks! Oh my god! Wow. Uh, yeah, and that he he has the power to use those shields and. Oh right, okay, yeah. yeah <laughs> He uses that ability and didn't waste one hit roll because he didn't roll any hits. <laughs> Amazing. This is what we came here for, Norbert. This is, oh, totally. this is and it's a dagger. Oh my god. How do you like that, Chewie? <laughs> this, this is what Chewie came for. A uh, Man, that was great. Yeah. So that's three, four, five, six, seven hits. Seven hits plus a stagger on Hulk. Whew. And um, he gets to attack again. Yeah. Is he gonna? Oof, is he gonna God. pay for the card? No. Um, I wouldn't. I don't know card. what he was pointing at. Um. Oh Oof. my God! That's a good roll <laughs> again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five hits. Holy! This time, yeah. uh, this time, Hulk managed to save one. I think he's some Wakanda four. shenanigans on top of that, maybe. Yeah. Let's see if he spends it. No, he's he's just satisfied with those five. So Hulk's yeah. on eleven out of twenty. Killmonger. Character you don't see very much. It's kind of been written off in the meta currently. He uh, seems a, a slight resurgence, I think, uh, given the nerfs to Shuri and Okoye, so that he's uh, more, uh, a relatively more interesting character in Wakanda now. Uh, then again, we don't see very much Wakanda these days. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that, well, firstly, uh, people have gotten tired of them. Uh, secondly, uh, they've been nerfed. And uh, thirdly, uh, we have seen the influx of some natural predators. Uh, for instance, a ton of mystic attacks mm. entering the game. Right, 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 right. Um, even the Australians have kind of given up on Wakanda. I wouldn't say that they are bad. They are still a very good affiliation, possibly among the top five affiliations. But uh, they certainly... Um, don't play like they used to. Um, I think they they're best suited for a combination of an 
a control attrition style. Uh, aggressive control if you want, if you like. Um, yes. Which which makes for a, a different composition of characters in their rosters. Okay, uh, here's classic Hail Mary. We've got Toad who moved up, leapt, uh, you know, he did his little jump, and now he's attacking. Uh, I'm going to presume with a spender. Uh, yeah, I would assume so. Putting uh, Incinerate into Black Panther is not a bad idea. Yeah. And uh, does he do any damage? No. But not he a single point. Not a point. But he does put the Incinerate down. I think that was probably the most important part of that interaction. Absolutely. Uh, so it's just Thanos left to do Thanos things. Let's see how Blake loves his Thanos. Let's see what he does. Thanos staggered, though. We do have to keep that in mind. Yep. I mean, he could still... Uh, Wakanda Forever is still on the table, so he, if he teleports in, manages to get one attack into Hulk... I don't know. That's right. Yeah, he doesn't do very much damage, though. I mean, you know, he's swinging, let's say. On the other hand, who does he bother attacking? Yeah, I mean, that's basically the only uh, good use for his energy. Then, uh, as we know, the more damage Hulk takes, the more dangerous he gets next round. Oh, that was... Usurp the throne now. What? Oh. Okay. Is that because Thanos is going to do it? I thought I said kill Mongo. What's uh, going on? Yeah. So uh, uh, he's playing Wakanda forever and usurp the throne simultaneously. Oh. Not sure why he didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> uh, that that means that he he could it, th those that's four uh, attack dice that he could have had, but. No, we'll have to ask him about that. That is very interesting. Can you make a note on that one? I, I would assume that he changed his mind uh, <clears throat> halfway through mm -hmm. uh, and decided that he needs to, to go for Hulk here. Uh, but uh, I would assume uh, Death's Decree on this, so we'll see a big attack from Killmonger. Uh, four hits, four not hits, bad, not saves. great. Yeah. It's less than half, uh, but... Um, yeah, no saves. Yeah, so four damage. That's it's, not. We're kind of reroll first. Let's see if he gets anything. Yeah. No, roll it right back into a blank. Mm. Okay. So not a great result for a nine, but no. not abysmal either. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, uh, I actually I think that Killmonger is the one that has to do the killing if he is to get those two victory points from the card. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, so. It would have made sense for him to do that attack, la uh, Killmonger's attack last. So this is Th Thanos uh, poured himself over. Bit, it seems a bit desperate here. Yeah. Uh, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the order of activations didn't seem to make sense. Yeah. Because you figure you'd have Thanos go and soften up Hulk first, and then have Killmonger go in and finish the deal. And he could also have attacked with Shuri, uh, uh, who did not have any power, though, mm. using Wakanda Forever, because then she would have generated additional power, possibly by rolling a skull that he could have used for rerolls later. Um, yeah, that was not... Yeah, that was odd. Very odd. Yeah. Is that as Omnis is pointing out here in the chat, I, I think that really don't think Hebro was in a bad spot. I, I actually think he was in in the driver's seat with yeah. Krypton uh, uh, reacting to his uh, to his moves. Um, so feels slightly wasted. I agree. Um, yeah, we have to ask him about that one. So this will mean five points to Hebro, though. Um, but remember, this is a slow scoring game, so it's all it's really about nutrition. Uh, four points. He gets two, yeah, four points. Big point. Four points. <clears throat> so four and three is seven, seven to four. <clears throat> Crichton has Bedpack and Indomitable still on the table. Still a very open game. 
yeah, it yeah. can swing both ways. And Hulk has taken a ton of damage and is close to dazing. But, but, um, but, but, he still gets to that go. That was not, uh, Hebro did not get good exchange no. from his uh, investment of resources there. No. And now we have Kryton uh, with pre Pryo and three out of four characters on Hebro's side are incinerated. Hulk seems like he's going first, so he's cleared the stagger. Probably paid two to Gamma Leap. Boop. Yep. Get right back into that action. Let's see, he doesn't care about power. Hulk right smash now. Thanos, maybe? Yeah. That seems like likely. So how many Hulk hit points? When, he, when he's 16 hit points in, how many extra dice is he getting? Uh, he gets an, one extra dice per four damage nowadays, I think. So that would be four extra dice. Ugh. Yikes. It's going to be some big walloping going on now. It's yeah. so flavorful, though. This builder is loving it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so you know, Hulk getting all beat up and angrier and angrier. And so now the dice are just coming out. This is why people yeah. buy a second set of dice for playing Hulk. Let's get them all wrapped up in those sweaty hands of yours and throw those dice. No whammies. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he could. I mean, he had, he had, he was staggered, so he could only get one attack out of that. Yeah, but six uh, skulls. He, he would have been, it would have been way more certain to uh, face Killmonger had he gone for him. Mm. Uh, now there is a uh, somewhat big chance that he's not gonna get. Thanos. Yeah, he no. de definitely doesn't get Thanos. Nope. You throw him away. <laughs> sure. <in a> <laughs> so that's not going to kill her. It's, it's going to uh, get give her power to use for rerolls on Killmonger, who is now going to try and take out Magneto. Do you think he goes after Magneto yeah. instead of Hulk, right? I would, maybe he activates Black Panther to try and get out of the way, um, but... If he takes out Magneto, that that's gonna affect the game more. I think he could also take down Hulk, but he has more options for that later. I think. So in the ideal situation, I mean, uh, at this uh, point, uh, if he had if he had Usurp and Wakanda Forever left now, yeah, that would have been that would have been way better. I think. Uh, Shiri did the best thing she could, which is take all the damage. <laughs> so she's sitting on one, which is fine, but uh, she's got five uh, power now to dole out to her comrades. Uh, so is Hulk done? Wait, I haven't seen the tick yet. The other thing I noticed is all the terrain is gone, so aside from the constructs, Magneto doesn't have a lot to throw around. Not much more Hulk can do here. He could throw a construct, but I don't know if he'll reach uh, anybody. Well, he could reach Killmonger. <clears throat> med pack, yes. Where is the med pack? Oh, there it comes. I think that just. Into there. Hulk himself. Or is it a throw? No, he's throwing. Uh, but he's already through. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that throw was from the punch. Yeah, oh, the final, yeah, that was from the Hulk smash. Yeah, got it. Um, Killmonger. This doesn't make sense either because uh, that construct can only do three damage at most. So he's only getting. Hulk smash is throw short. Correct. Yeah. Cookie, cookie caught a, a mistake. They threw Thanos medium. Indeed. Uh, but there's the med pack as well uh and it looked like it went right on hulk so hulk's on 13 out of 20 so seven hit points to take him down ironically i think that the mistake benefits hebro because uh, shuri now has more power for rerolls <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's the worst kind of cheating the kind of cheating that helps your opponent out well, it, I mean, I, I, I think there has to be an intention for it to be an actual cheat. It's 
I, 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 I having no one's accusing me. Really no, no, that, that 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 was an honest mistake. Obviously, uh, obviously. And, but, but have you noticed though? So... Unfortunately, an honest mistake that is going to benefit the opponent. <laughs> um, it's interesting though how in in gaming parlance people say cheating. I never understood that either. They'll say they were cheating when they were just making honest mistakes. It's kind of an interesting um, thought process. Right. Mm. A lot of damage on Hebrew's characters now. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a smattering all over the place. And they're all incinerated. Or Thanos is staggered, but yeah. Now it's going to take a serious effort to take down Hulk. So mm -hmm. maybe it's better for Killmonger to try and do that. Yeah, because even though Hulk's activated, then if he's if he dazes him, then he's out of the game. Correct. Which, and he's sitting on so much damage potential. And let's not forget that Magneto is on his injured side, and all of Hebro's characters are on their healthy side. So mm -hmm. timing-wise, uh, he can afford to have Magneto dace Killmonger, uh, for instance, and then come back next round for... Yeah, I say Killmonger has to go here. It's just a question of which target to attack. Okay, we're here seeing some dice. Hearing some dice being thrown. Um, that's one, two, three, four hits. Uh, I, I don't think it's too bad if Killmonger doesn't manage to take down Hulk uh, by himself here because there's still Shuri, there's still Thanos. Um, so it's five hits into one save right now. Uh, he hasn't paid for the Wakanda reroll. Oh, there's Shuri helping him out. So it might get higher. Let's see. So he's clearly within four. Yeah. So some upgrade rerolls. Uh, not that he needs it because he all was all not, rolled all hits. Didn't help sadly. So that's three, four, five, five. Yeah. So he'll take four, four damage. Puts him on yep. seventeen. Ooh, very close. Um. Yeah, uh, uh, thing of note here is that um, magnetic refraction is up. So Hebro pierced the block, but then Krypon got it back from magnetic refraction. Okay, thank you. Very good. I have been forgetting about the pierces. Feel a bit of discussion, but Killmonger has a second action to go. Yep, and he does have the power for a spender. We should ask who won priority. We didn't see that. Uh, that was uh, Crichton. Crichton. So we, we'll have to see which he um, if he picked um, secures or um, extracts because we were not uh, paying that close attention at that time. Um, yeah, both of them have both crises, so <laughs> no uh, way of telling by looking at the roster. Thank you for checking. Okay, so oof, five blanks, uh, four hits into two saves. So that was a spender. Oh my god! No, the, the luck is deserted. Uh, Hebro, he's rolled his crits into more blanks. Uh, but here comes some uh, upgrades, rerolls from Shuri. Sure. Three of them. Three, nice. Uh, didn't help terribly much, but did help once. So he's got five. That is one damage short. Oh. One damage. Oh. Does he have his Wakanda reroll? Uh, yeah, I think he does. In fact, I think I just saw a shield go up. Yep. So here we go. Let's see if this rolls into a hit. He's done the deed. No! Into a blank! Ah! So close! Oh, 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 man. oh Crichton must be freaking out. <sighs> Squeaky bum. Well, it's not over because, I mean, Shuri can do the last point of damage herself. Sure, but Magneto's going to go in there and <laughs> slap her around. Oh, wait. Yeah, but I mean, wait, I, wait, I wait. So, somehow Hulk to... dazes. Somehow Hulk dazes. Did we miscalculate? Three, four, um, five. He saved two, he so he should be taking three. Oh. He was at 17. He has two blocks plus uh, magnetic refraction, so he should have taken two. Oh, yeah, because of the cover. Maybe they forgot about the cover now. Well, but he's got two uh, saves. He can't make any more cover. That is correct. 
That is correct. So yeah. only two. Yeah. You are right. So that's three. Yeah. Three. Yeah, okay. that's enough. Cool. Yeah. So, so easy peasy. So that now, man, Hebro is really sitting pretty now. It's taking down the big boy. Um, so Magneto will go and either mess up uh, Killmonger or go after Shuri. I'm not sure. Oh, let me check down below. Yeah, sure enough. So time for Jugs to. I think he's paid for his. Paid for his um, uh, move, and is just gonna knock that car out of the way, or maybe just move so he gets the extra dice. Not sure. Okay, strike into Panther from Juggernaut. Panther saves two. Oh, not a, not a bad hit this time for Juggernaut. That's one, two, three, four. This will do it. Five. Five out of two. That's good. Scroll is on the table. Yeah, but not for long. You think Toad's going to take it and run away? I think Juggernaut's going to take it because he doesn't. Uh, there's, there's no downside to him taking it. He's oh, slow slower already. anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, he is the tankiest character around uh, currently uh, with Hulk gone. So. So he's paid a bunch of power, which is like going to guess for his slide. What is it called? No, nobody stops the Juggernaut. There he goes. Destroying the car in the process. Feeding yep. power to Nito. <laughs> yep. And uh, probably going to move his second action. Let's see. Day's token on Panther would be nice. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the line judge can get in there. Yep. And so Juggernaut uses his second action to move away. Is this the Strike Better podcast advertisement? Let's see. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, of guys. Of course. Yeah, I love it. Great podcast. Okay, back to the middle. After that little uh, excursion at the bottom. Uh, Noah, thank you for chatting. First time. Uh, it is, in a sense, for the cut. Uh, Kryton is guaranteed to go into the cut because he's undefeated, so this loss wouldn't matter. But Hebro, Big Blake, uh, needs to win this one to stay in the cut. Indeed. Okay. Thanos moves himself forward. And uh, he's probably going to move Magneto? At this point, um, he could have um, teleported Magneto away and Killmonger closer to his own side. Hmm. He wants to punch. You know Blake by now. He wants to punch. Yeah, 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 for sure. He He's your classic uh, Noah, you know, that, that kind of but... character. <laughs> Go on, so I... But um, uh, as things stand, Hebro will have Pryo next round. Yeah. So um, prolonging the, oh. the the game serves his purpose. Yeah. And that's what looks like what he's trying to do. He's moved Magneto just to the heck out of there. Prolonging that fight. Mm. Uh, but Magneto will still be within three of Killmonger. If he had teleported Killmonger back and... Magneto right. away. I think he could have uh, robbed him of one action. Yep. Uh, looks like he's sending Thanos after Juggernaut. Yep. Looks that way. And as people Juggernaut is so fast, though. Yeah, yeah very fast. Uh, and tanky, like you said. But as you pointed out, um, he's got priority next turn. Yeah. Okay, so that's Thanos done. Toad sure. now. Let's see Toad put three damage into Thanos. <laughs> Incinerate him, at least.
Nope, it looks like he's going to activate Magneto instead. Yeah, he wants to take Shuri down. But two moves is not going to get him there. I mean, one move is not going to get him there. Possibly throw something at her, yeah. Or just go after Killmonger, because he's there. Given the fact that uh, Hebro will have Prior next round, though, it might be dangerous to uh, feed power into Killmonger. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, but he's doing it. I hear the dice being yep. thrown. He could use the push to get him outside of four from Thanos, Ugh. preventing the Death's Decree. But then again, he has charge, so he will be able to reposition. No one rolled particularly well there, and um, Killmonger takes one. Mm. And gets pushed off the point. Yep. That's good. Uh, given the charge, I'm not sure how much it helps. Possibly if he pushed him straight away. Magneto currently has a problem that he's running out of terrain. Yes, I was noticing that before. He only had the constructs around. Now he'll be able to place another one next turn, which will be helpful. But uh, if he's looking to try to take out Killmonger, he's got more work to do. I'm not sure if he's got enough resources to do it. Hmm. Out of measuring. So is this still the push? Yeah, probably still the push. Okay, so he's pushed him off the point. What will he do with his second action? Go on the point? Yep. Looking to score some points, I guess. Back because... stopping himself off him. Yeah. For sure he's push. So this would mean, Hebra uh, sorry, Crichton will get Three points. Hebro get one, so it's eight to eight to seven. Kind of dangerous though to stand because I think uh, Shuri has range to to um, to him if he stands within one mm -hmm. of that uh, portal, and her putting two damage into him is not nothing in preparation for next round when Killmonger, uh, I would assume, will go to town on Magneto. Oh, he just decided to move to so, the back point. Wow. The state option, yeah. Huh. Okay. All right, sure he's left. And Hebro's taking a look, see if he can reach Magneto. One damage. Generate some power for rerolls next round. Now, she could push him, though, too, right? Because he's only yes. size, size two, despite being... Yes, but if he pays, he doesn't get pushed. And I'm not sure if the page is, uh, the push is mandatory. Um, uh, looks like he's trying to push someone else, no? Toad. Yeah. No. So too far, though. He's calling it a day. So that's the end of round. Nope, Toad still. Oh, has Toad has to go. Oh yeah, big barn. He can kill Shuri. Yeah, for sure. Or grab a point. Yeah, Chewie's pointing out. He could point to get that back point, or just basically deny it to Shuri. But knocking her out yeah. would be not bad either. Let's see what he does. One move. Gives her a little leap. Yep, there's a leap. Now, Join. Does he attack or does he move? 
I would assume, attack because he's injured and Shuri is healthy, so she wins the contest game. Yep. And uh, he's, he paid for the spender. Yep. Here are the dice. Nice. Only two Three all. hits. Three hits. And she only saved two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So she's yep. incinerated. He has, she's incinerated, yeah, so she will go down. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's the end of the round. Should be seven to eight to have room. Correct. There goes Hulk. Um, not seven to seven. So, oh, man, I'm doing three, all the three, damn, three points to Crichton. One portal and two for the mm -hmm. Yeah, but why doesn't um, Hebro get a point for the back? The back uh, oh, sure. oh, sure. Because just the uh, Shuri is uh, dazed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's what it was. Okay, there's the second contract being put on the table. And Hebro is right into it. Oh, no, no. Sorry. That's still hard to... Haha, <laughs> sneaky move. Blocking a <laughs> landing spot there. Not <laughs> sure if it will help, but uh, A for F. <laughs> nice one. Love Certainly it. an A, A for effort. <laughs> what Killmonger wants to be doing here is ending up within four of Thanos and two of um, Magneto. Um, in the best of worlds, he would also end up within four of Shuri, but I don't know if that is possible. Uh, looks like he's activating Thanos, yeah. Yeah, moving Juggernaut forward. Hmm. And now Thanos will move himself. Hmm. He wants to brawl. You know how Blake, he likes that reality gem. He, wants to, he, he brought that gem and he intends to use it. Certainly. All right, but I would have thought it. that if Magneto dies, then yeah, then it's then it's then much it's basically, worse. Basically, a game over. Oof, uh, oof! Three crits plus a hit so far from Thanos, and he's going to roll that into what? Uh, nothing more. So, but but that, look at that block. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is crazy. <laughs> These double spikes—they're amazing. Con and reroll. Does he help him? No. So nothing. One, two, three, or one. No, five. No, one, two, three, four. So one sh one hit should go through, I think. That's not, That's not what you want to see. <laughs> For none. Now, now Killmonger will not have access to Death's Decree when he tries to take out Magneto here. It's... Uh... Uh, another uh, mediocre hit, a four hit, and uh, two saves from Juggernaut. Uh, and Juggernaut has the automatic reduction of one hit point as well, doesn't he? Are we possibly seeing a uh, case of force division here? Instead of concentrating on Magneto, he tries to take both him and Juggernaut out, getting none of them in the process. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Don't worry about the two points. Just take out Magneto. Yeah, because the portals are three points if you can get them all. Yeah, and you he loses all his action economy. Yeah, and he will be so heavily up on attrition that... Right, that's what I mean. All right, looks like uh, Crichton has decided to activate Juggernaut and move him. And then I suspect he's going to pay for his slide. Oh, he went the wrong way with the power. So now he's fixed it. He's going to slide again. Feed some more power into Magneto. Yep. And uh, his second action, he's probably going to walk away again. <laughs> he's run out of board. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Okay, that's Juggernaut done. Basically running away and giving power. Even with two attacks with the Reality Gem, Thanos had a very small chance of taking down oh, yeah. Juggernaut. Sure, you could argue that uh, Black Panther uh, would have had the chance later, but um, ooh, looks like Toad is um, <laughs> attracting attention. Getting <laughs> So question is now, does he do a mantle attack or a pounce? Uh, mantle attack is probably better, I think. Well, but the pounce, uh, the throw means that he doesn't um, get to run away. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. But I think that he wants to get to the portal with a pounce after having killed to Toad. But... Oh, I see. Okay. Um, well, he's taken two damage. He only needs to take one more to go away. Oh, that's two crits, but two saves. Hebro needs to roll a hit. Which he does. Bam. Got it. That's Get out of here, Toad. That's it. KO'd. Right, so now all he has to do is focus on his Magneto. Yeah. Problem here is now that the, the priority window is gone now. So he had... Hebro had prior this round. Mm -hmm. So... Now was really the time to go for Magneto, I think. That's just my thought. But then again, Magneto is not in a super great position. Uh, he needs to move and then attack. Killmonger, for instance. But he also has throws. So I'm not, wouldn't be too concerned if, uh, about whether he can do three damage to Killmonger. Especially since he's incinerated. Yeah, I think he was worried about Shuri going away, and he would definitely want to get Shuri. Yeah. So he could pass Crichton, which I think he's doing. Yeah. So Shuri Let's decides see. to move forward, and he's probably going to shoot Thanos. Yep. I might need all. Make, oh, I keep saying that. Sorry. They're both big guys. Generating power and um, putting damage into him. Even one damage is worth his weight in gold. <laughs> nice hit from Shuri. Yeah, and the, the all-important skull. That gives her more power, is that right? I don't know if Magneto paid for extra defense. It appears he did, given the number of dice he rolled. Yeah. Uh, because that also makes it so that he can't be pushed. Mm -hmm. Which is very important right now. Um, oh, and they have magnetic refractions up, so there's no damage went through at all. Crichton's right into it. He's looking to put Magneto into the back points. And probably While then... still being within three of Shuri, possibly. Yeah. Possibly? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No problem. Boom. So he's going to attack her and get her off the point. Possibly throwing some stuff into her as well. So we may very well see her go down from this. Yeah. But uh, then again, that that's an attack not put into Killmonger. Three hits. Um, did Magneto forget to put one damage into himself? Yeah, I'm not sure about the refraction and all that. Maybe we miscalculated. Uh, he did three hits. She saved one. So she takes two. Yep. But now he pushes her. Any way he likes. Pulls her forward. And then probably throws a construct at her. If not two. Yep, he's throwing one, so this is three hit points she has to dodge. Can she, yeah. Can she do it? Nope. <laughs> Just what he you need cannot. to do. cannot. <laughs> one save would have been enough. Oh, we want to reroll. Is he going to get this save? No! Oh. I can do a blank! Ah! <laughs> she is out of here! All, all the little characters are now off the table. <laughs> So, uh, 
now it's starting to look a bit rougher for Hebro uh, being able to score three points yeah. on the secures every round. Yeah, because you'd be tempted to keep attacking to try to do attrition, but really at this point you need to be scoring points. Yeah. I, I, I've made those mistakes when I was used to play the Sin 7 list. You're so busy trying to kill the other guy's stuff that I wasn't paying attention to the amount of points they were accumulating, and so uh, I would lose in scenario. Like, almost like a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Question is now, can Killmonger get within four of mags and within two of Magneto? Probably not. It looks very far. Yeah. But uh, he needs to do serious work into Magneto here. Well, he's got the charge, so he's going to be able to do two full attacks into him and be on the yeah. back point, as it turns out, it looks like. Or back point, the middle point. All right, he's in range. He uh, doesn't have to pay. He's got a kill token, killmonger token, kill token. Yeah. Token token. Gives him a reroll. He needs a big roll. Mm, a little mediocre, not too bad. Let's see what the crit gets him. Does get him another hit. Uh, and these are pierce. And let's remember that's pierce, yeah. Pierce, yeah. So he could pay to reroll that blank. Crichton, meanwhile, has saved two, but one of those is pierced, so he's only saving one. So three hit points go through. Is that right? Um, he has magnetic refraction, too. Oh. So that's actually three minus two. So two yep. damage goes through. Yep. Okay, second attack. Seems like a Ooh, spender. Much better. Ooh, that's not bad. Six. Let's see what the two crits get him. This could do it if Another he rolls one. well here. Ooh, seven. Seven. This is current, currently five damage. Yeah, five damage. I didn't see what he had. How much is uh, that? Or did we? Yeah, five damage. Oh, uh, is he on one hit point? Ah, where's Bullseye when you need him? What about this kill token, for God's sake? Oh, no, there, there you go. So he's taking ah, a he got it. He, he got, got it. it. Ooh, that was huge. That Massive. was huge. YOLO, huge. Who, in, who in the chat doubted Killmonger? I see a lot of doubters there. I'm scrolling back up. I'm scrolling. I don't see. Yep. Yeah, you, you, and you. Doubting the Killmonger. Nobody, nobody's, nobody cares about Killmonger. And look at him. He's just been doing work past two weeks. Earning his pay. That's the second kill token to it. He didn't bother using the kill token. <laughs> all right. So uh, Crichton's still winning, 9 to 8. But all he has is Juggernaut on the table. This is amazing. Yeah, so um, Hebro can basically just run with his characters to the portals now and score them. Yeah. And Juggernaut needs to come to him. I see. You're saying because he'd want he'd be starting to win. Oh, this is round six though. <gasps> round six means that yeah. So it, it'll be uh, tied. <laughs> oh, okay. turn seven game. I haven't had one of these but in ages. If if Juggernaut manages to daze one character and not die himself, mm -hmm. that means he wins. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is going to be an amazing not sure turn. He's, how he's about, he's supposed to achieve that though. Maybe walk, get two power, push himself twice, strike, kill, monger, and one shot him. That could do it. I could do it. All right. Let's see. It uh, looks like he passed. He passed. Yeah. Okay. And he's going first. That's interesting. People are saying he should be going last, Thanos, that is, so he could do control shenanigans. Agreed. Hmm. Oh, okay, so he's moved Thanos forward. He's leading with Thanos instead of using him as a control piece. I think he's really trying to... He has got. He may not have the red mist in his eyes. You know, like the bull. This is what Jaborf is usually good at. He, he's the matador of, of MCP. And he's good at getting the other player to just see red. He's going for the kill here. Yeah, he's this just going to go for the kill. 
But, but I don't know. I mean, he could have. I, I, I don't know. Because if he had teleported him away from the portals, I think that might have done it. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right. He's, but he's got the red mist, Hebro. He, he's like the mad bull in the rodeo. And he's just attacking. Okay, so that's three hits with a crit. Uh, Drugs has saved one. And, uh, oof, <laughs> rolls a five. So I think that's four damage, but down to three because of um, Doug's... He can pay one to reduce, yeah. yeah. Doug. Oof. That puts him on four out of eight. Problem here is that if Thanos doesn't Ooh, kill... Ooh, Wakanda reroll. <laughs> it's added another hit, sorry. The thing is here, if, Th if Thanos doesn't kill uh, Juggernaut here, then Juggernaut's gonna just gonna run to the corner and that's game. Mm -hmm. Because there's no way. Well, he's six out of eight. Months. He's six out of eight, dude. <laughs> what? The... Is that the first or the second? That was attack? the first attack. It was the first attack. Oh man! So so uh, <laughs> spend your time, yeah. <laughs> spend your time. This is this is uh, this is cowboy business. <laughs> it totally is. Like, <laughs> portaling stuff to corners yeehaw <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> he is totally in the rodeo and he is That's roping what we're doing here. <laughs> he is roping this bull and pulling him down is he riding the bull straight into the cuts <laughs> I don't know he will find out now he's rolling dice he's, he needs to get two hits through Ah, oh, four with a crit. Let's see what the crit does. Not a bad, uh, not a bad. Oh, and only block. one save, only one save. Oh, two, rather, two, two, saves. two saves. Two saves and the reduction, so that's... That's three saves, effectively, out of five. That's, that's enough. That, that's it. That's enough. That's it. GG. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Look at he's even taking the scroll. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Yeehaw! The Texas meta destroying the Europeans left and right. <laughs> Who needs scenario points when you can just murder people? <laughs> oh my god. That was... What do you think, Huggy? Yeah, the, the Hebrew is giving us uh, entertainment value for bang for buck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go interview with these guys. I'll see you over in the yeah. channel. See you there. All right, everybody, let me get oop, let me get over to the channel they're in. Where are they? There we are. Once they got that done, then I was like, "Oh, I'll just uh force a turn, a tie." But then I was like, "Well, he like he could like double put move and then or move push." Move, slide, whatever he does, yeah. and then push me so off, that's, and then you went. That's what I would have done this turn, because obviously you move me closer. If I survive, I would have moved, pushed into Killmonger, punched yeah. him, and then just drifted back to this point. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I put it all in on the kill. Um, yeah. The only other option I had was if I got close, uh, Panther can long move, his, pounce, uh, and then... Yeah, uh, do his spender. And then do his spender, or do his reroll. Because he's getting four dice with the uh, with damage mm -hmm. to three. Yeah. So. Hey everybody, uh, this is Norbert and Huggy. Uh, we're on the line, uh, air rather. Great. Oh, hey. Hello, hello. Uh, guys. Great game. Thank you so much for letting us stream this again. Um, it was a Monday night uh, madness going on here. You guys gave us such an entertaining game. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Thanks for yeah. Yeah, Crichton, let us start. Who, who, um, I think you won priority. Did you pick Secures or Extracts? And can I you did, tell yeah. us? I yeah. Picked, I picked uh, Secures. Uh, didn't want to be playing. Uh, was it Gamma and what was the other one you had that I didn't? It was Senators. Senators. Uh, yeah, I just didn't want the chance of us playing at low score, low numbers. Uh, I quite like playing 17 and higher. And yeah, uh, maybe uh, the. 14 uh a research station could have came out which would be i think a perfect number for yourself like but yeah uh, it is i yeah don't want to play low and i don't want to be spread out too much i quite like the the season ease okay uh, from playstyle 
Okay, and it seemed like um, it was going to be a brawl fest based on the two types of um, crises that ended up getting pulled. Uh, mm. So did, was that your thinking then about going so narrow and with beefy characters? How I like to play? I, th I think with the combo of Mags, Hulk, and Jugs, most people, other than this team, I think, most people can only deal with one in one to turn one to three. Mm -hmm. But then normally you've removed maybe one character before, or maybe two her dazed and KO'd at that point, mm -hmm. uh, just by the amount of damage output you have. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just, a couple of my early roles, I think, with uh, Mags and that just did no damage, which uh, yeah reduced my output, which is just an unfortunate thing, I think, in the, the Thanos, uh, against Thanos, just him getting quite good rolls early on on defences was just, um, I, to be fair, just whiffed. Yep. I think I got one attack with set, uh, 12 dice with Jugs or something, and I got, like, oh yeah, sorry, Hulk, and got six skulls. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a dice game. Um, I, I personally like rolling lots of smaller um, dice pools rather than one big one. I never seem to do well when I throw a big pile of dice. Um, I think, yeah, go ahead. That's all right. No, it's, I think it's, uh, it looks good and bad, whichever way you normally do it. Like you say, if you like 12 small pools of average dice are, like you say, a bit better consistency than four pools of eight plus. It's uh, also more bodies helps with this sort of objectives. Okay. Um, yeah. So you must have been feeling like you were in the cat seat uh, when Toad picked up the scroll straight away. Uh, it was quite good, but he didn't come for Toad or get close enough to Toad that I could have then asteroid m would onto Toad because mm -hmm. uh, Toad just didn't have I just needed Toad to be like uh, something done to him with either Shuri or something just pump a little damage into him uh, but if he had the two power I would have been able to then asteroid m and then take Panther out earlier instead of uh, playing in the middle with Magneto uh, was I, my I thought. intentionally left him like back here Yeah, I was, I was wary of the, the range two uh, Reroll, thank you, though. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, let's let's move over to Blake about his opening play, and then I'll bring it over to Huggy for some questions. Um, Blake Hebro, you uh, we watched you last week. You played the identical team last week, but because of the highest threat value here, you were able to squeeze in Ashuri. Um, so was attrition always your plan again this time around, and and why is that? Yes, it's always the plan. <laughs> so and you, you weren't scared of the fact that Brotherhood is, is could be just as big a brawler as your team oh I was terrified like, I, and the way my list is set up uh, I couldn't really put another three in besides Shuri um, and she, she does almost nothing uh, in this matchup and I knew that going in uh, the only thing I was trying to do with her is to keep attacking Magneto to force him to pay so she can get pushed to try mm -hmm. and drag his energy reserves down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's about it. I mean, that's what this list does. Is I, I try and punch people and then punch them again. <laughs> her re-rolls re were uh, quite key for you quite a few times. Yeah, yeah. a couple times she showed up. Which is quite nice. Cool. Um, go ahead, Huggy. I think we had some questions about some of the moments in the game. Yeah, I just have to ask about the 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 final play on uh, uh, Juggernaut there. Um, also, the, the pass. Uh, the pass, yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, what was your thinking about that, if we start there? If he... The only uh, true... Ch the only choice I felt he had was go with Thanos, because... The other two characters' actions would have just been wasted, uh, and I knew then he would give me a free movement, like a, a free bump, pretty much uh, from the cosmic portal closer to his uh, his team. I would have then just, if I survived, I think I wasn't actually too. But I fluffed my first roll, and you, I think you rolled three crits in the first one, two crits in the first one, and then you rolled quite well in this one because it's what four hit some one crit uh, yeah. on your eight. It's a bit high, but it's if I survived and I spiked, for example, I would have then maybe been left on two health. I'd have been able to, as I was saying to uh, Ibra, was just 
move short now, bump into Killmonger, then punch Killmonger, and then just bump two away, two bump twice or once onto that back portal, which then uh, Black Panther shouldn't be able to reach me uh, at my furthest point. Was then, it ever uh, was it ever an option to you? Uh, Blake here to just uh, try and score the three portals and ignore the scroll here, like um, going last with Thanos, uh, moving Juggernaut away, uh, and then just move him to one of the portals. Uh, would have taken it, it to. Uh, it would. We would have been tied. Would have been I tied all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then and then it. another round of that, and because it yeah. would it would have forced uh, forced Juggernaut to come into you. Yeah, it was an option. I actually asked him what happens if we tie, because uh, um, I wasn't really sure what we what the protocol was, uh, anything had changed with the league or not. Um, and so I wanted, because I thought about it, I thought about just moving all three people over, taking the points. But I was worried that at some point I'd have to move Thanos um, over here, and I was worried that he would just like double down and like come over and kill Killmonger and with a, like a, a move slide or maybe reach over here um and there's so many ways where i could think of that where like i guess like last activation thanos could have just portaled him off but i was uh i was fairly worried about him coming up with some weird plan to uh make it so that i only score two and that he would win by one and i figured if i'm gonna go out i'm gonna go out the way i like to play and that's punching people <laughs> yeah i can see i can see that because if if thanos hadn't taken Juggernaut out there, I would assume that he would have run to the corner and been out of range from both Panther and Killmonger. Yeah. yeah. Effectively ending the game. Yeah. Um, so. Liam, we were wondering <clears throat> at one point when you had to decide you're activating Hulk, uh, probably around three or so, and instead of going after Black Panther and the scroll, you decided to turn your attention to Thanos with him instead. It, what was the reasoning there? It was just to slow Thanos down. It's it's not cheap activations for staggers for my side to uh, deal with Thanos, but I felt if I slowed Thanos down, he wouldn't then be able to come over to deal with the scroll because I knew I would, on averages, should get it next turn with a with a bump and one damage sort of thing. Uh, him then getting pushed back it means he's staggered. He's having to spend an action, so he's losing the actual tax output. Mm -hmm. uh, but as he broke the game last week, some of the attack dice that come out is just <laughs> amazing. I think I took 11 damage on Hulk from the first yeah. uh, Killmonger attack. Yeah. Yep. Just outstanding. Like, you, you can't say anything about that, and that's just how it goes. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's. I, I felt that trying to slow Thanos down so that he couldn't react to the scroll was more of a plan because I think if he went over to that side and got the scroll, I'm not going to probably get it off of Thanos just because of how survival he is mm -hmm. uh, at that point. And I've got no Asteroid M at that point to get Magneto into the right place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Blake, similar to you, we were very confused about how you decided to use Wakan Forever and the Usurp the Throne cards at that one juncture. What, what was the thinking? Yeah. Um, I, I probably shouldn't have done it in that order. Uh, <laughs> it was, I think you, you thought that, uh, Killmonger's well, got, attack yeah. off was for the, uh, round rather than turn. I think that's what, because obviously that's what came up when. Yeah, we, I thought that Killmonger, uh, extra dice, um, lasted for the round, not for the turn. Ah, uh, okay. so I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get 11 dice here. I'm probably going to get six or seven successes and we're gonna call this a day um and then when i got nine into um uh, hulk it kind of turns out to be less than uh, what i was hoping i also didn't expect the first attack to do that much and the second attack to do not as good mm -hmm. so then i was like in a weird waffle spot where i was like well um what do i do with this turn um i knew i needed to get after i hit him for 11 i knew i had to kill hulk mm -hmm. or he was gonna kill all my guys because mm -hmm. uh, he has all those extra dice so i kind of had to just like throw it into the wind and hope that i was able to 
to finish him off. Uh, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but it got the job done in the end. Yeah, amazing. Really amazing. Huggy, do you have any final questions? Uh, not uh, at this point. Um, I'm just uh, so happy we had the chance to uh, stream this game. And uh, as you said, Norbert, it was uh, full packed with entertainment yeah. and violence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Choose violence. Um, so, Blake, a lot of the Americans in the chat, you have a lot of fans now. You're just developing a little fan club. Uh, they want to know if you're going to be at Adepticon because they have beers that they want to buy you. I unfortunately will not be at Adepticon this year. Uh, I will be, I'll be working and I've already had my vacation allocated. Okay, that's too bad. On the other hand... There, there is there is a possibility that I make NashCon. Um, I've already, I'm off those that weekend and uh, I, I'm wide open. So I may make it to that, but not Adep, not Adepticon. Okay, I'm sure the NashCon will be loads of fun for you. Um, especially you have the time off already. So hopefully anybody who's uh, in the fan club down there can go and see him in NashCon. So, um, uh, so going back to you, Liam, we're going to wrap things up here, but look, you know, bad news is, is you don't maintain your, your undefeated record, unfortunately, with this uh, last week of the regular season. Uh, but the good news is that it doesn't matter because you still make the cuts. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. So I, we will be watching you uh, in the upcoming weeks, uh, probably five weeks worth of cuts. Still a lo long road ahead to, to pick up that big TTS crown at the end of it, but good luck to you. Thank and uh, Blake, this was do or die for you, but uh, you clearly chose do. Uh, and so you make it through to the uh, cuts as well. Congratulations. Thank you. I had fun. Is this your first season playing with us? Uh, no, last season, I think I got last place. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right on. <laughs> now, uh, I think I, I went uh, one and five, I think, last season. <laughs> Any of oh, you? Not a bad. Turnaround. Yeah, I'd say so. He's five and one now. Yeah. Well, uh, I set my expectations low. I wanted to get two wins. So you know, if you uh, shoot for the stars, you know, sometimes you uh, you do a little bit better. Look, um, I don't know if either one of you are willing to risk any tech, but of course, to be when you make it into the cuts, you get to have an opportunity to change your roster. To, uh, Liam, any any ideas about making switches that you're willing to talk about? Uh. I'm dropping Indomitable. I definitely think it's a, a card I'm going to drop just for how Brotherhood play. I don't think I've I've not actually I think used it the entire season that I've actually had it in my list. Maybe once. I think I maybe did when I played Huggy. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I'd drop in that I think and uh, probably try and fit something in techie with Scarlet Witch or something, maybe Whims of Chaos or something, but there's nothing. Uh, I quite often, obviously, like this entire season, I've just gotten around the. Uh, I didn't take it in this game because I he had too many fighty characters, but I normally just gamma launch Juggernaut forward and then mm -hmm. Astroid M into whatever Juggernaut is and kill stuff. It's <laughs> it's worked very well so far this season. Uh, <laughs> Sounds fun. I think it's because I changed my tactics this game, Blake. That's what's happened. Uh, I think I should have just. I uh, took the gamma launch and just went for it. That would, uh... I mean, yeah, you, you know, I, you you know I approve of that. What was that, Blake? Uh, I said, you know I approve of that strategy. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Blake, how about you? Any, any thoughts of making some tweaks? Uh, Yeah, I think I'm taking scrolls out. <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I don't like, I've come to realize I don't like 17. That's uh, not a very good point for me. Um, right. It makes it awkward. I end up. I've actually played a point down at sixteen because Killmonger, Panther, and Thanos is like what the list revolves around. And dropping Killmonger for Shuri is terrible. And I can run under Black Order with the uh, Thanos and Proxima, and then you know whatever. But it's just not the. It's not really what I what I enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really rely on the Wakanda rerolls uh, more than I'd like to admit to make up for my horrible uh, <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> That's fair and, and totally fine. That's how, how this work game works. All right. Look, if anybody wants to meet you in person, do you have like a, a club somewhere that you go to or near town, nearby town? Uh, yeah, I play at uh, Atomic Hobby and Games in uh, Houston. Um, we will have a second uh, 
LVO qualifier near the end of the year if anybody wants to come get on on that. Wow, nice, super fun. All right, Liam and Blake, uh, Huggy, did you have anything else? We're good? I'm good. All right, wonderful. Let me thank those players again, and we really look forward to seeing how you do in the cuts. It's going to be much harder. You have five weeks probably to get, to do this, and um, it's, uh, it's an elimination round, so you don't get second chances. So hopefully you guys do well, uh, and thanks again. And I wanted to thank everybody in the chat for a really lively chat. That was amazing. So much fun. I hope you guys were as entertained as we were. And let me lastly thank uh, Huggy Bear, my dear co-host, for being such a great uh, partner on this. Thank you, Huggy. Thank you, Norbert. Always a pleasure. All right, well, everybody, have a great night. Good night. See you. See you. Thank you very much.